Chapter 6, The Menacing Shadow. In Monta Vista, the festival stalls that had gaily lined the piazza now lay in heaps on the square. Rosa guessed they must have fallen over during the earthquake. She looked at the yellow stucco buildings overlooking the piazza that was their home. Jagged cracks crisscrossed the walls and the shutters on the windows dangled dangerously over the sidewalk. Sadly, Rosa wondered what damage the earthquake had caused inside their beautiful apartment. She knew the earthquake was just for starters. Next was the volcanic eruption. What would happen then? Look, Mama, Carlo pointed to a van sporting the same TV logo that was on the side of Aldo's video camera. A street lamp had smashed through it. That news reporter wouldn't have been able to leave now anyway. It's a good thing we came back. Just then they heard an announcement. They heard a shout. Attention, over here. The mayor needs help. Rosa and Carlo turned to see Aldo Rizzo getting, his, getting to his feet from beneath a pile of debris on the piazza. They hurried over. Mayor Fabiano was lying under the festival banner, his face pale and his mustache drooping. Well, Rosa, you were right. There will be no festival after all. He winced in pain. But it wasn't a volcano. It was an earthquake. I'm afraid the volcano is still going to erupt, Mayor, and soon. We've got to get you out of here quickly, Rosa replied. Would you help Alda to move this heavy wooden pole, please, por favor, said the mayor, grimacing. It seems to have fallen on my foot. Immediately, Rosa, Carlo, and Aldo grabbed a hold of the pole. One, two, three, counted Rosa, and together they heaved the pole off the mayor's foot and onto the ground. The mayor sighed with relief. That's much better. Thank you. Grazie molte. Rosa ran to get the scooter and rode it onto the piazza. Meanwhile, the mayor had put one arm around Aldo's shoulders and the other around Carlo's shoulders and howled over to meet her. Rosa noticed Carlo holding his nose with his free hand. She didn't blame him. The smell of sulfur was getting so strong now it nearly made her choke. They had to get away before the volcano erupted. Rosa threw the bundle of belongings out of the sidecar. Mayor, you and Carlo get in here, quickly now. You'll fit if you budge up. Although you get in the back of the seat. No one dared to object. They all climbed on without a word, and a moment later the scooter was headed back down the mountain. Now that Rosa's little scooter was laden with four people, she found it even more difficult to maneuver over and around the rubble. She managed, though, riding quickly but carefully. Soon they would all be safe. As they rode further and further down the mountain, Rosa allowed herself a sigh of relief. It was then that Vesuvius erupted with a boom that echoed over the landscape. The volcano shook, and Rosa lost control of the scooter. Everyone held their breath as the scooter flew into the air and then landed back on the road with a bump. Rosa struggled to regain control. Part of her was desperate to see Vesuvi Vesuvius erupting. After all, she'd spent years studying volcanoes, but she knew she had to keep her wits about her and her eyes firmly on the road. Aldo clung on, terrified. In the sidecar, the mayor had shut his eyes in fear. It was Carlo who turned around to see a giant gray cloud of ash billowing up into the sky from the crater of Vesuvius. It covered the sun and the blue sky above the mountain. The ash cloud seemed to crackle and then bright bolts of lightning flashed across the sky, one after the other in a dazzling display. Rosa sped ahead as fast as she possibly could with herself and three passengers weighing down the scooter. They had only just survived the eruption by the skin of their teeth. If they had left Monta Vista a few minutes later, they would have been caught in the eruption. However, now they were nearing the foot of the mountain, and the ground was leveling off. Only a little farther, and they could reach the end of the exclusion zone where they would be safe. But Rosa was well aware that they were on the west side of the mountain where the bul bulge had been spotted, and she knew there was danger of a pyroclastic flow. If she was right, then they didn't have much time. <laughs>